So welcome today to PDS uh, the tutor and the mathematics we'll be looking at computer and the generators. And the first thing that we look at, we look at a pseudocode. But we, before we go anywhere, let's look at the, some basic information that we need to know concerning computer. We need to know the shapes that are used there. So we'll be drawing first what we call flow chart. Then from there we'll be getting information from the flow chart, writing in pseudocode. So you know that the first shape is a circle, right? This one, it, it represents start and the stop. The second shape is a parallelogram. This is for input or output. Output. Then the third shape is a diamond. This is a suggestion box. So on the suggestion box. Then the last box that we need to know shape is a rectangle. That is for processing. So these are the basic shapes that you must know when it comes to computer when you are writing a, a flowchart. A circle, a parallelogram, a diamond, and a rectangle. And you should know their main uses. So that was too much of the time. Let's go to the question. So we have a question there which is the diagram below. The program below is given in form of a pseudocode that's saying start. Enter x, let m be equal to the square root x squared plus y squared. If m is less than zero, then display error message. m must be positive, else end if display and then stop. Draw the corresponding flowchart for the information given above. So, start, we know the shape to use for start. It's a circle. Then you write start. Then the, the next uh, step is enter x and y. We know the shape for entering. It's the same as for input, and we're going to use a parallelogram in this case. So say enter. x comma y then that's saying let m be equal to square root of x squared plus y squared now this is the this is the processing we are processing it's a formula so you need to put a rectangle that's saying let m be equal to square root. Now, when it comes to writing of x squared and y squared, we don't write the way they are, or we don't write something like x squared and y squared. No, we don't write that. So what we write in this case is it x star x, to represent that there are two x's, plus y star y. That's because x and x is x squared, and then y and y is y squared. So that's how we can write that. Then they are saying, if m, the moment you hear m, if m is equal to something, if a or if h is equal to something, the word if, it, it's a command, so it's a suggestion. So we know the box to use there. It's a diamond. So I'm saying if m is less than zero, then you need to display. So a suggestion box has got two options, the yes side and the no side. So if the yes side, sorry, the, this, there's no space there where I can write it properly. So if it's yes, what do you do? They are saying display error message. So error message, message. Then you, you write M must be positive. 
inside the box. I don't have much space to write everything inside the box. So all the, all the information in here must be inside the box. Then else, else means the other option, which is no. So else and if, then you display uh, the, the, uh, the M. So to display, we know that is to output. So we say display M, then you stop. You say circle, stop. I don't have much space there. The reading proper. So that's how we can answer such type of a question. Let's look at another example. So question two says, start the pseudocode below. Start, enter A, R, and N. R is equal to one minus R. Capital R. If capital R is equal to zero, then print the value of, uh, of R as in validity. Then or else, SN, which is sum, uh, is equal to A open brackets, 1 minus R to the power N over R. ND, then print S. Then we need to stop. So, the first uh, thing we need to do is to start. So, I'm going to say start. We know the symbol. We write start. Then we know what follows after start. They are saying R is equal to. The moment you hear something, R is equal to. Think of a left angle. Because we are processing there now. They are saying R is equal to 1 minus R. If, like I said, the moment you hear if, think of a diamond. They are saying if. R is equal to zero. So like I said, just got two options, the yes option and the no option. What are they saying if the option is yes? They are saying print value of R is not is not valid. So they are saying R is not valid. But all the information must be inside. Like I said, I don't have much space here. Else means the other option, which is a no option. SN, remember it's a formula, there's an equal sign there, so we are saying it's a formula, so we are processing. So we are saying SN is equal to A, open bracket, 1 minus R to the power N, close bracket. Now we, we, we are not going to write over there, no. As a result, we are going We are going to write a forward slash, then put R there. Those are some of the things that you must know. We don't write the over like this one. No. What next? And if then print as N. Print the same as output or display. So we know what to put there. The shape is a parallelogram. Same print as N. Then you stop. So that's how this question was supposed to be answered. So take note of the forward slash to represent the over. Take note of the star to represent multiplication. Question three says, set the project below. Now here we are taking information from a project to write a pseudocode. A pseudocode is the, are the ones we are just from doing. So. We've got start, enter is R less than zero. Then you do the output there. R A is equal to half, star R, star R, star sine theta, display area, and the stop. So we need to write a pseudocode corresponding to the above project. So stage one, start. So we write start. Step two is enter. So we are saying enter. So this one is the simplest because we're just getting the information which is there and writing it down. That is, so it's just after the is R less than zero. Then don't forget to then display Ella. And they are saying R must be positive. Else, remember it's for no, the other option. Else, they are saying A is equal to 
1 over 2 star r star r star sin theta and if we said display area and stop stop so start and stop remember the the in the same line so we have the step 1 there we have our step 2 there we have our step 3 there then we have our step 4 here then we have our step two. Uh, five where it says display, then a step five, six, the final one where we are saying you have to stop. Question four says the diagram below is given in the form of a flowchart. Start, enter is R uh, is uh, mo the modulus of R less than one. If no, then you have to stop. Exactly. If it's yes, then you need to go on and uh, process the sum to infinity then you have to, 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 to display the sum to infinity so let's see how we can do this so step one we need to start step two we need to enter a and r then step three they are saying is so you say is the modulus of r less than one If it's no, we know what to do. If it's no, no, so you have to do If it's yes, so we, in this case, we can go with any other option. So if you say, is R, if you are, we are agreeing ab uh, about it, then say then, print, then we can say, then s to infinity is equal to a over 1 minus r. Else, that's another option which is a no option. Stop. Or else, what do you do? Display sum to infinity. So you say else display. Sorry. Else. And if then you say display sum to infinity and stop. So that's how we are supposed to work out. So thanks so much. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share. I'm PVS the tutor. See you in the next video.